friends welcome to the channel ATY Biotech so today here again with we are with the new video for you we'll be discussing the important questions from the examination point of view so let's start with the video and uh, I would like to say that please subscribe to the channel so that you can get the latest updates related to all our videos and uh, please like the video and share the video so moving to the video let's start with it this was the question which has been asked in the previous video it goes like this Positive and negative selection markers. They are utilized to screen for recombinants from wild type populations. So the positive and the negative selection markers, they are utilized to screen for recombinants from wild type populations. Which one of the following can be used for negative selection in bacteria? You have to select out of this the one which can be used for the negative selection in bacteria. And the correct answer for this is SACP. So many uh, have tried out this and uh, they have answered it correctly. Uh, this is a good attempt. So uh, the people who have answered it correctly, they are Jyoti Singh, Parveena, Pinky Yadav, Srija, Neelam, Bhushra, Neera Mishra, Brainy Kids Point, Pooja Khatre. Uh, day by day, uh, those who are taking interest uh, into this, uh, uh, it's increasing number. So, here comes the explanation for it. The SAC B SAC R gene cassette. So, this is the gene cassette, has been used as a negative selectable marker for many gram negative bacteria. So, it has been used as a negative selectable marker for many gram negative bacteria and works by preventing the transformed bacterial cells. It works by preventing the transformed bacterial cells from growing on culture media supplemented with sucrose so it uh, works by preventing the transform bacterial cells from going on culture media supplemented with sucrose next so today we will start with the question number 481 in a cloning experiment alkaline phosphatase is generally used to dephosphorylate uh, so alkaline phosphate Phosphatase in a cloning experiment, it is used for this function to dephosphorylate a plasmid vector rather than the insert DNA fragments. Why this is used to dephosphorylate a plasmid vector? The correct option for this is because vector can self ligate and form colonies upon introduction into the host cells. This is the reason why this is used to dephosphorylate a plasmid vector, not the insert DNA fragments. Next, number 482. Which of the following statements is not correct about enhancers? So, first read it carefully. You have to pick up the statement which is not correct with respect to the enhancers. So, they can function in either orientation. This is the correct statement. They decrease the binding of activators near the promoter. So, this one is not a correct option. Second part, that is they decrease the binding of the activators near the promoter. This is not a correct option. Uh, from the word itself, it is clear enhancers to enhance. So, third uh, rest options are also correct. They increase the binding of activators near the promoter and they function upstream or downstream of the gene. So, the second part, this is not correct. Number 483. The common feature of row independent and row dependent termination of transcription is. So, what is the common feature between these two? That is the row independent and the row dependent termination of transcription. It's like this. Uh, number three, that is the active signal lies in nascent RNA. This one is the correct option. Next, moving down to the next question, here comes number 484. During infection by single-stranded RNA viruses, so by the infection of the single-stranded RNA viruses, host immune system, it distinguishes viral RNA from the host RNA. So how it distinguishes the host immune system? Distinguishes viral RNA from the host RNA based on, it, be, it is based on the specific signals at the 5' end of the RNA. This is the correct option. 
485 number. Helicobacter pyroli. This survives in acidic medium of the stomach because this uh, the reason behind is why it survives in the acidic medium of the stomach because it produces urease enzyme. This one is the correct option. Next, coming up a bit, 86 number. During DNA replication, the newly generated strand it remains attached to the template. This we all know. However, during transcription, what happens? The newly synthesized strand, it dissociates from the template. In this case, it dissociates while in uh, case of DNA replication, it remains attached to the template. This is achieved by how this is achieved in case of transcription. So, this activity is due to the RNA polymerase itself. Next, 87 number. Primer extension. So, this is a technique employed for mapping the what is this used for this primer extension technique? This is used for transcription initiation site for mapping this initiation site. Next, number 488. UGA. This is not a sto stop codon in. So, UGA, it is not a stop codon in. In case of yeast mitochondria. Number 489, tetracycline. So, many of the questions in the examination, they always come from this, which drug inhibits what? And uh, these are very important. And repeatedly, they have been put in many of the examinations, not only the ICR, NET or the DBT. Uh, they have been put in many of the examinations. So, uh, not only this, uh, you learn each and every drug. And uh, the, here comes the question for one of the drugs, that is the tetracycline. It inhibits what is uh, the inhibition? It inhibits the binding of amino acyl tRNA to ribosome. Next, number 490. Which one of the following enzymes? So, you have to pick up the enzyme that is which one is encoded by HIV, via, HIV, via, uh, HIV genome that is the human immunodeficiency virus. So, the enzyme which is encoded by this genome, that is, we all know that is the reverse transcriptase out of these three. Uh, these four, uh, number one is the correct option. Then, 91. DNA synthesis. This in eukaryotes occurs during which phase of the mitotic cell cycle? So, DNA synthesis, it occurs during the S phase. Next, 492 number. Which one of the following techniques can be used to compare the expression of a large number of genes? So, which technique can be used to compare the expression at a time uh, of the large number of genes in two biological samples? So, biological samples, there are two. Large number of genes are there and all this happens in a single experiment. So, what is the technique followed? That is the PCR? No. Northern hybridization? No. DNA microarray? This one is the correct option. Number 3. Next. Coming up with the next question that is which of the following processes can increase genetic diversity of bacteria in nature? So, how the genetic diversity of the bacteria in nature that can be increased? This is by conjugation. This one is correct as well as the transformation. So, this is the correct option that is second part A and B only. Coming up with the next question number 94. A mutation in a gene that codes for a polypeptide results in a variant polypeptide. So, there is a mutation in a gene. So, it is encoding for a polypeptide which will be as called as the variant polypeptide that lacks this variant polypeptide. It lacks the last three amino acids. So, which type of mutation is this? This is called as a, in this case, this is a nonsense mutation. Here comes the last question for you. That is, Antibody producing hybridoma cells. 
So you have the antibody producing hydrodoma cells and they are generated by the fusion of so how they are generated they are generated by when the fusion of the b cell that is it fuses with a myeloma cell again a question for you please try to solve it out and uh, give us the answer in the comment box that is which one of the following covalent linkages exist between 7 methyl guanosine and mrnas so what is the covalent linkage that is between 7 methyl guanosine and the mrnas so here comes the options that is 2 prime to 3 prime triphosphate or the 3 prime to 5 prime triphosphate next is the 5 prime to 5 prime triphosphate or the 2 prime to 5 prime triphosphate please pick up the correct option and give us the answer in the com uh, comment box we'll be discussing this uh, in our next part of the video and uh, dear friends thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe the channel time and again i'm saying this just because so that uh, you can get all the latest updates and uh, you can watch the videos and get a thorough revision of the topic in just a few uh, minutes and uh, please like the video and share the video